Hey guys, can you hear me okay? Can you guys hear me okay? I'm not sure if I can do it here or if I have to move. Let me know. I lost this one, so I'm going to take the rest off. Can you hear me okay? Is it good? Alright, so... Are you still here, Kiki? Big bloke getting thinner. Hey guys! I was just going to do a topic while I um, did my nails, soaked off my nails before I did them. Because I usually record like the decoration part. So, I wanted to talk about the time that I got, um, perfect. I just wanted to talk about when I got denied um, my surgery. So you know like you have to take the, um, you first go you do the um, seminar. They make you do the seminar first to see if it's like what it's all about. You get a packet. After the seminar, then they tell you that you have to schedule an appointment with the doctor. So then you schedule what they call just the bariatric con uh, consultation, right? So you do the consultation, and it's weird because it's like legit. Like they weigh you, they take like your measurements, you know, like that's what mine did. Okay. And then you sit down, and then the doctor is like, yeah, you're a good candidate for surgery. Which one are you interested in having? So then after that point, you do like your EGD, you do your sleep study. You know, like the whole spill, right? You got to do all this stuff. Um, you do your mental health evaluation. And all that stuff is like, takes like sometimes a month to even get seen. So I'm talking like my journey took me six months before I even got a surgery date. So I had to do <clears throat> four classes, four months of nutrition um, classes. And then they said, at that point, they submit to surgery. So then I worked health insurance, which it was kind of dumb on my end because I should have called my insurance because I only had to do three months of nutrition. So I didn't even have to do the four months. Um, they just assumed because it was Aetna, all plans are the same, but I have federal Aetna, they're not all the same. So there at that point I realized that maybe the, the scheduler didn't know what she was doing. So then they submit for my insurance and you can call your insurance. Whenever they submit it, you can actually call and check the status on it because you know like bariatric surgery, there's a lot of people that are going for surgery and they just get back to you when they get back to you. They don't get back to you like as soon as the insurance sends it. They're always like, oh, we just got your approval, da 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 Sometimes they could have had your approval for like two weeks. So I always recommend you call and you be very proactive in finding all this information out, right? So anyways, she submits and she said she submitted it. So I called and it was never actually submitted. So, and I was messaging her like, hey, the insurance is saying they never received it, da da da, da. So she finally sends it. So this is like a good like four days had already gone by. So, yeah, and if you ever need help with it, I can help you. It's it's so easy on the back of your insurance card. You can call and speak to authorization department. It's your insurance. You're paying for their care. They're not in charge of all this stuff, you know? So, hello, warrior. So I kept calling the authorization department. And so nothing had ever even been submitted at that time, okay? So then, and my scheduler had said that she had submitted it. So I'm emailing her, like, I called to check the status of my approval and nothing was sent. Finally, on that Thursday, she actually sent it, when she said she sent it. So then she said, oh, it takes about two days for authorization. Now, working health insurance myself, it usually is less than 24 hours because there's a lot of... Um, insurances like you need a, a approval right away like for CT scans or something like if your brain is swelling like authorization departments are not going to play with it but with bariatric surgery it does take a while for them to review all the documents and that it falls under the requirements right so then Tuesday 
Tuesday she comes, so this was last week she finally submitted it. So I'm already waiting like a whole week after I had finished my weigh-ins. So she finally submits it on Thursday. Then come Tuesday, I'm like, hey, did you get anything back? Just hoping that she was going to follow through with what she said she was going to do. So she was like, oh yeah, it was denied. Da, da, da. And I'm like fucking blown at this point. Like it got denied after six months of like all this shit. And I like I did all the requirements. I was literally like I was blown away. So then I called the insurance company and I said, can I please speak to the pre-authorization department? So it's usually called pre-authorization or you can call it authorization. They know where to get you. So then, yeah, I was fucking pissed. So then when I spoke to them, they were like, oh, we denied it because you gained weight from your beginning stage and you're not allowed to gain weight through, through the whole process. And I was like, no, I was like, I weighed uh, 300 and 323 pounds and I'm, I lost down to 313 pounds or something like that, you know? And she's like, no, the documents that the nurse submitted is saying that you actually gained weight, you were 316 and then you went to 324 and then you went back to down to 3, 313 and you're not supposed to gain at all through the journey. And that was never specified to me regardless, but I always lost at every nutrition meeting, you know? So then I'm like, what? And, and so I was like, where is the 316, you know, this weight that they said I had gained? I said, where is this, this date coming from? She's like, yeah, on five, on May 3rd, you weighed this date. I was like, May 3rd? I was like, I didn't even start my nutrition classes until June. June 16th was like my consultation. So like, I didn't even start the nutrition. I was like, I didn't even start my nutrition weigh-ins. I was like, so how could I have gained when I didn't even start the process yet? Very nerve-wracking. So then she was like, oh, well, that's how it's submitted. Uh, you need her to correct. So then I had to email the coordinator myself because she was going back and forth with me saying, oh, no, it was denied. You have to do another month of weigh-ins. Another month of weigh-ins when I only had to do three and I did four and she wanted me to do five to prove that you, you can lose the weight yourself whatever get back down to what they need you to be so I was furious I was like I'm not I'm not I'm refused to do that I I said you need to submit the documents right I said and I just called her out and I said why did you put this date I was like I didn't even start nutrition with Nancy until June 15th and my first meeting with her was like the 24th of June and so she felt stupid at that point so then anyone in our surgery group so then she had to resubmit it and then she played then so I feel like she was like kind of pissed because then she didn't resubmit it for another two days so I'm like oh my god calling the authorization department because she just stopped answering my emails so I would call the authorization department they're like no um, we got cancellation of authorization we never got a resubmission or a new one so I was like oh my god she's gonna take a good old time and submit this thing so she did, she, she did take a good old time. So I, the whole process of actually knowing I was approved took nine days from submitting and then being told that I was not approved from being told that I had to do another month of nutrition. It was just basically the whole point of the story is yeah, the whole process is nerve wracking, but okay, if you're doing it through your, your but even if you're not, if you're, if you're going self pay, you're just going to pay for it anyways. But if you're paying with your insurance, no, you're right. And I said this even when I spoke to members, you know, on the phone, I said, know what your benefits are because these doctors see Cigna, Blue Cross Blue Shield all the time on these cards and they just assume that everyone's benefits the same. And it's not, it's definitely not the same. So I wish, and I'm, I would have just called myself and you can, you can even ask the doctor for what they call CPT codes and that's the billing codes that goes to the medical insurance. And you can ask the doctor, what is the CPT codes for this procedure? For mine, so Aetna, I had Aetna Federal. When I called to get the stipulations for it, they never said that you had to gain weight or lose weight. There is some insurances that say you have to lose like 15 pounds. Like there is some, but that's why you can call yourself. Don't go off of what your doctor is telling you your benefit is. It, do, it depends though. It really does depend. Because I got through um, the way, and then that was another thing, the authorization 
because you know if you call Aetna, there's so many people that have Aetna. But my Aetna, you know, with what my benefits are, and I had to pull out my, my benefits book. So if you have a job, well, obviously you have a job with your insurance, but I'm saying get your benefit books from your insurance company. You can go online and look at the portals too. It's just very like, you need to really be proactive in this, in this um, in journey. In the beginning stage, like that's why it's like so freaking hectic the whole time. You really, really need to be so proactive because if you go in there and you just trust whatever the doctors are saying, you could have been approved and they didn't call you for a whole week because you know they're doing like 50 approvals and they're, they maybe there's one day that they do them. You can, you can call your insurance and after they submit your authorization. And like I said, usually within um, 24 to 48 hours, insurances have to approve or not approve it because it, something weighted approval is like prior, it needs, it needs urgency. So, hi mermaid, what, what are you supposed to ask? So on your insurance card, if you flip it to the back, it says member services or it will say benefits. Yeah, you wanna call them and you wanna ask, not just for the benefit department, you can ask them, but usually because it requires authorization, you want to ask for the pre-authorization or authorization department. Either one of those wordings will get you to the place. The representative will know what you're talking about. Once you get to that department, you say, I want to know the requirements for um, authorization for bariatric surgery. At that point, the authorization representative should be able to give you a list. They'll give you a list saying uh, your BMI must be da 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 uh, you must have uh, hypertension like they'll tell you exactly and you should you should write those questions down too. how many months nutrition am I allowed to gain weight what if I gain weight or lose weight will it get denied um, also you want to ask too now with COVID going on it's very important to ask after I've been approved how long do I have for the approval is good for usually it's good for six months so that's why I tell people start your journey now. If you're unsure, go through all the steps because at the very end, you already did all the work. Then you can decide. If it's not for you, maybe take a month to like reflect or whatever. You got six months on that authorization. Usually it's six months. But it's just very important to you're paying for your health insurance. That that shit comes out of your paycheck every every two weeks, whatever. So yeah. It's just, it's just very important. I, and I'm like, I kick myself in the ass when I tell this story because it's like, I work healthcare. I literally give the benefits to other people, members, and you know, transfer to the authorization department. Like I did that and I didn't even call and I had to do a whole month. Do you want to have to do a whole month of nutrition classes when you didn't have to because your insurance doesn't require it, your actual plan? And another thing, did you know did you also <laughs> did you also know that um, you know like those weight loss things we've done like you know, weight weight loss clinics? If you've gone to a place, even your primary care, if, like your primary care um, prescribes you Fetamine or something, if you've gone to them for consecutive four months, six months, whatever the nutrition counseling is, you don't even have to do it all over again. You can provide the paperwork from those clinics, submit it. And then boom, you could have surgery. You don't have to do it all over again because that's why it's important to, to, you're telling your primary care all this information. Like, I've struggled with weight, da da da. And they put all that in your notes. And then there's that documentation like, oh, she's, she struggled, she did this, she did that, she tried phenamine, she's got high blood pressure now, uh, etc. And they don't tell you that, man. They just, and you know why? I hate to say this, but it's a money thing. And when I also say that is know what surgery you want to get because my doctor repeatedly tried to talk me into the um, VSG, the sleeve. And I was like, I already have acid indigestion. I don't want to have more issues with that because I had seen a lot of people had to get revision because it was so severe. And you know, they obviously get paid for two surgeries. If they have to perform two surgeries on you, guess what? They get paid... <laughs> for two surgeries, your insurance is paying, plus you're paying whatever you had to pay towards it, for two surgeries. So just, yeah. It's it's a lot of research, it is a lot, but that's why it's nice with the IG community, if you're on any Facebook communities, to ask 
other people's experience. I chose what I chose because of the reflex and I didn't want to have to have a second surgery um, and have to go through that all over again. So insurance, call your insurance company, find out your own benefits and don't be scared to confront your doctors or the nurses with it. Be like, no, I called and they said I do not, yeah, do not be scared because guess what? Then instead of them just typing in the computer and because these databases they're pulling it from is not right. I, I'm telling you like firsthand from my job, it's not right what they have in there. So these hospitals have all these databases of benefits. Yeah, I couldn't imagine. I've have, I haven't had reflux, I had bypass. I haven't had reflux since that, I've never had it again. And I mean, there is some sleep patients that they're fine, but they also have to take an acid, um, acid reducer for the rest of their life. I don't have to take that. You know, like I just, I just didn't wanna. Yeah, it, like it was bad. And then I was like, is it because I'm overeating? But um, when they did the EGD, like they actually like found it, you know, like um, they saw the reflex. And that's the only reason why the doctor was like, okay, yeah, I, I agree, you should have it. If he would have told me no, that I couldn't have bypass, I would have went to a different doctor. Because <laughs> I'll be damned if you're going to do two surgeries on me. No. that The first month after surgery is like the hardest. And you basically have to do that all over again. Imagine having a surgery, it didn't work, and then doing it again. And then you have to go through liquids, pureed stage. <laughs> you have to literally do all that over again. So, yeah. But if you have questions about your insurance company or if you're really, really confused, we can even call together because they'll need your name and date of birth. Um, and I can call and act like I'm a provider, but I would feel more comfortable if you were on the phone, you know, so you could hear what was going on. Like, and I don't mind doing that. But know your benefits, ask, and don't be scared to confront your provider. Yeah, one and done, that's what I'm talking about. Like, even, like, that's why I, like, so hard, like, I keep trying to be consistent with, like, working out because it's, like, I'm I'm scared, terrified of surgeries. So, like, having to get plastics or something, like, I'm fucking scared. But, like, if I had to for my stomach or something, like, you know, like, it's, like, one and done. Definitely one and done. So, yeah, but if you're just joining, hey, and I'll post this. It was just basically me talking about how I got denied for my insurance but if you know your benefits and you're an active person and charge your benefits don't accept what they're telling you just call and you find out yourself it's your benefits you're paying for the insurance you're allowed to get answers directly you don't have to rely on the nurses and the doctors but yeah guys I'm about to do some fiery ass nails probably not I'm lazy so I'm just gonna probably do like sparkly nails <laughs> But that was all. No cooking and no cooking chills with me because I um I'm doing that little transformation plan. So my food is gonna be very fucking boring <laughs> for a while. So anyways, any insurance questions? Um, you need help finding out your benefits and you want to know exactly what your plan or even just the questions to ask? Just DM me. All right, loves. You're welcome. Have a good one, alright guys? <laughs>